So I know there's a lot of people out there who don't understand how to actually build a lead generation funnel. Um, it is a topic that I've covered quite a lot before in theory, but I haven't actually ever delved into, into giving you a live example of how to build it and then exactly how you can do it for yourself. So you can start generating some good quality leads for yourself. And then, um, so in this video today, I'm gonna go over, and I'm gonna sh pretty much show you firsthand how to go in and build your own funnel, as in the pages and the form as well to obviously connect it up there and just go over the theory aspect of the actual funnel itself and, and why you should be looking to use it for your own business. Um, so the system I'm using, the, the platform that I'm using here, as you can see, it's called Kartra. Um, for any of you guys who are interested in this system and want to kind of use it to manage your online sales funnels and online marketing in general, um, I can let me know, I'll give you a link to get a 14 day um, trial of it. So you can go in, you can go try it out and you can get things set up for yourself um, during the 14 day trial before you start actually paying for it. But I 100% recommend it. I mean, it's like $99 per month, 100% worth every penny of it, considering it's your CRM, it's your email sequences, it's your autoresponder, it's your page builder, it's your website builder. It's got online course things, membership areas. It's got your calendar, help desk. You know, it's got everything you could possibly need to run your online business. Um, and you know, it's even got checkout facilities where you have your product, you can set up memberships, you can set up recurring monthly payments, one-off payments, upsells, downsells, everything. So that's pretty much why I use it. And um, if you have used a lot of similar softwares like ClickFunnels before, you'll probably understand you know, that it's quite similar to that, but I just prefer Kartra just for a few of its additional features that it has. And um, so let's just get straight into it here. So first things first, within Kartra, the first thing we want to build is a lead magnet, okay? So a lead magnet, the whole idea behind this funnel, this lead generation funnel, is that we're gonna give our, our target audience something for free to in exchange for their details, in exchange for their information. And also to position us, position yourselves as expert and an authority in this subject matter who helps people solve this problem that your lead magnet is going to solve. Okay, so your lead magnet could be anything from um, a ebook. Probably the most popular one is an ebook, some type of short, you know, 10 to 20 page book, which helps people learn how to overcome a particular problem that they have in their life that you actually help them solve and that your business is around. Okay, like personal trainers might create an ebook on your know, healthy recipes or um, exercises, things like that. If you're an accountant, you might have certain um, you know, information that everyday business owners need to know about you know, managing their accounts on a day-to-day -day basis. Or maybe it's just a, a cheat sheet or a checklist that people need to take action on you know, once a month, every day, every week. You know, here's a checklist. Make sure you do these things every every week to stay on top of your accounts or to stay on top of your, um, your health and nutrition. So there's quite a lot of things out there that you can do. So that's what we're going to do today. So um, one option is an ebook. Another one is, as I mentioned, a, ch a cheat sheet, a guide. You can do videos as well. So if you want to say, you know, leave your details here, you'll get access to the video with this information in. So there's quite a lot to do. It all depends on what your preferences are. Videos are probably a bit easier in my eyes and a bit more slick. And um, because with videos, you don't really need to go out there and hire a designer to help create the ebook, to help create the guide. It's a bit more okay. All I really need to do is download the software to record a video or just grab your phone and then just you know maybe it's just mount it on some type of tripod or rest it on some books and just record yourself talking about the subject that you want to help people with give them you know 10 steps to overcome whatever problem it is that, that, that they have so first things first we're going to do that then we'll create a thank you page and um, one thing you could do is after somebody downloads the lead magnet you create you could create an offer page which is known as let's say a self liquidated offer page and on that page it could be some type of low value and um, product low value service or or an opportunity to jump on a, a call with you to overcome a certain problem or you know to help them get faster quicker better results and th certain things like that so first things first, as you can see, I've got I've already got a few examples of um, lead magnet pages here, and um, for the physio and um, physiotherapy industry. Just give you a quick look there. So I mean, it could be as simple as this. Okay, nothing, nothing flash, nothing crazy needed. This one's a bit more, and um, it's got a bit more to it. Testimonials and things, and there, a couple of different call to actions. But I see there's quite a lot there, and um, I'll just give you a quick look over some of my other ones as well. So. Um, you know, this the seven day funnel building challenge. It's quite simple, which is a bit about me and and the, the headline pretty much sells it. 
Okay, so the headline here, how to generate leads and sales online in as little as seven days while hiring a tech guy or a marketing team. I mean, if the headline is literally the most important part of this, if the headline doesn't sell it, they're not going to read anything else, then they're 100% not going to click the button. So how to cure lower back pain in just seven days without taking any painkillers. So obviously that's not the best headline, but it's something that could still work for people if they have a lower back pain and um, they are currently trying to overcome that back pain with painkillers. Um, and you know that they've been on painkillers for a while and in just seven days so we've got a time time limit on there as well obviously you've changed this this ebook this little cd thing over here on the right hand side for cover of your ebook or for um you know just just some of that is more relevant to your product or relevant to the thing you want to give them so if we click on add page down here on the bottom right it's going to bring us up with kind of like all the templates that um, you know this, this this software has for us. So we can see here we've got we can start from a blank canvas. We can do squeeze pages, which which are more relevant for us. So you know we've got things like this preview. So it's it's already got it designed. If you get what I mean. So there's not a lot to do. And um, you know, another one here. So if you're looking at sign up to get something, we've got video ones as well. So if you need some type of video um sales page, it's got that on there. Well, I mean, if we just keep scrolling through, as you can see, there's quite a lot of different types of examples. And it's so easy to do, all you need is come in and just click it, and then just like edit from there. Um, and it shows quite a lot of nice ones here. So, as you can see, there's some great examples. And um, let's just pick a one that we're going to kind of work with the deer. So, um, ba -bum, have a little look. So, generally speaking, if you are new to it, I would highly recommend you do start from. Um, from a template and don't really try to start from scratch don't try to build it from scratch so for this example I'm going to actually select um, this one here so we'll select it and we'll come back up to the top and click launch builder and I'm just going to say um, lead magnet demo demo page select the category and um, select the site well it won't put any of them for this example I'm just click create so as you can see here, the page is loaded. We've kind of got everything that we need on this page now as a typical lead magnet page. So this is where we're going to drive traffic to. Okay, so this is going to be the one thing that, is, that we're going to give away for free to help people get results. And um, we need to kind of help people get results um, up front and first before we ever ask them for their money because we need to build the trust with our potential target audience here. And this here, what I always recommend you do with these lead magnets is actually make it something that's really valuable. You know, that is a real big pain point for your, your target audience, for your target clients. And um, don't just create some type of lead magnet that helps them solve a little problem. Create something that helps them solve a big problem. That's gonna help them get big results because they'll just come back to you for more and they'll see you as the expert and the authority in that. And if they think, oh my God, I've gotten so much value off of this free thing, well, what does that mean if I actually go and buy their paid programs, their paid services, or buy their products? You know, these they actually spend some money on this. I'm going to get so much more value that I don't even realize is there. So, first things first with this page, we've got the, obviously, you can see it's got a bit of a blue um, coloring to it. Um, 25 best practices for website testing, targeting, and optimization. So that is, it's not it's not too bad of a headline, but it doesn't really touch on any pain points for me. And that's one thing I like about a headline, it's got to kind of touch on the pain points. And as you've seen in some of my other examples before there, um, the kind of headline I kind of described was, you know, how to, and then when we insert the kind of benefit that they want, and then we use the word without, and then we use something that they don't, that they're looking to avoid. So one of my favorite examples for this is, you know, how to lose um, 30 pounds in 30 days without stepping foot in the gym. You know, or without how to lose 30 pounds in 30 days without without um, cutting out your favorite snacks. Things like that. So it's like, okay, you know, people who really don't want to step foot in the gym, this is how you can still lose weight. And you might have your own process for that. You might have your own technique for that. But just using that type of philosophy is really good. Also, this one is good. You know, 25 best practices. Um, but web website testing, targeting, optimization without needing to hire a tech team. Something like that, it could be that simple. And you know, to edit these things, all you gotta do is hover over the, the, the text, the image, the button, the whatever it is that you're looking to do. And as you can see, we've got icons come up. Click the, the pencil icon, sorry, the text icon. Then we can just change the text here. It's quite similar, you know, 25 best practices. Um, you know, how to, um, lose um, 30 LBS in 30 days and we're just going to say without 
stepping foot in a gym. Something like that. That could be a really nice simple headline that you could use. And you know, if people are looking to lose weight, they are really going to resonate with that headline immediately. And they're probably going to be, okay, well, this is now interesting. It's grabbed my attention. I want to read more. I want to find out more. And so you can see here, the, just to break down the page another step further for you, I probably should touch on this first, but I'll talk about it now anyways. So we've got what's called components. And these are things such as the, the text, the bullet points, the, the imagery here, the button, and these icons down here. And then the components are inside columns. And if up at the top here, we have to switch this to columns. As you can see, this is one big column here. We've got two columns here and we've got another column at the bottom. And the columns and components are held within sections. So over on the right-hand side, as you can see here, we've got section one, we've got section two, and we have section three. So when you come across to the left-hand side here, we've got this tools down this toolbar. We've got sections, components, pop-ups, alert bars, help desks, and your know, code if you know how to do a bit of coding, but it doesn't require any of that whatsoever. So um, components are obviously where you'll find all the individual things like your, your buttons, your videos, your um, if we just click into it even. So you've got, you've got, that's where you find the columns if you want like headlines, text, buttons, accordions, images, you know, videos, lists, separators. So all these things are already done for you. Um, so for example, if we just kind of click on lists here, it gives us a few different examples of lists that are already in there that we can create. So this top one is probably the, the one I use most and looks like the one that's been used here. And if you go to sections, in the sections, we go to hero sections here. As you see, we've got empty section there. So if we want to start a new, new section, we could do. At the top here, I've got some of my sections that I've saved as favorites. However, if we go down here, these are all of the pre-built, pre-defined ones that you can see. And it's really simple to add these to all we need to do. If we just want to add this one, let's say, click, click and hold it, drag it on, just big drop here, sign comes up. It's pretty obvious. Um, and you just kind of drop it where you want it placed. Okay, so for example, if we wanted to just turn this into a video lead magnet page, we could just get rid of this top bar. We could maybe, I could click on this components tab at the top, hover over this, click the drag and drop button, and I could bring it down to here. And the same with this, we could bring that down. And um, so there's quite a lot of things, and we could potentially get rid of this, and we could get rid of this. And I see, so and to remove this top section, we'll just click delete. We've deleted that. And um, because this text is a bit big now, in my opinion, I want to bring it down a bit so it looks a bit better. So bring that down to a two. And you can change the height, the line height, so bring it a bit closer. So that's something that we can do. And also, you, we've got two columns here, as, as you can see as well. So if we want to change the width of a column, we can do that nice and easily as well. And um, yeah, so it's quite a lot. You can even move sections as well. So you can clone sections, you can edit sections. So we've got this ready color background here and um, which looks like it's going to be an image so as you can see we've got an image there if we wanted to change that to let's say this background we can do that it's nice and simple to do and we can we can darken it up a bit so we just go into here again under the sections we change this to you know maybe like a black color we then we go to the backgrounds and we choose image opacity maybe take it down to 60 percent as you can see it's just darkened it a little bit hasn't it and then we can change that ninety percent. So just whatever you want it is, you can even you can even add videos in here as well. So let's just say that is the the the, the top for our um, lead magnet page, um, which isn't actually going to be. So I don't want a video in this case. I'm just going to delete that that part of the column. And on this button, I'm going to highlight this button. Instead of saying get started, I'm just going to say you know download now. Um, download now okay well you can select the font if you're kind of choosy with your font and you don't like that type of font in there we can pick a font that is more relevant there's quite a lot of different fonts in here as well so you're bound to be able to find one that kind of works for you and um, you might like that well i'm going to actually choose latu So we can do that. And then obviously with this, we're gonna link this to somewhere. So we can link it to a Kartra page, to a pop-up, an opt-in form, which in this case we're gonna do. So we're actually gonna link this to a Kartra opt-in form. And as you can see here, we've got loads of opt-in forms already kind of designed. Um, so you know, get access and we've got, still have questions. 
And ba -ba bam this is quite a lot of styles here. It's almost just like just choosing the one that's best for you and what works best for you. So, I mean, that one here might work quite good. And um, you could actually add the image of the ebook again. And we just bring that on. We can just change this a little bit, you know, so download our free PDF ebook. I get rid of the PDF. I'm not really a fan of the PDF wording there. Just remove that. And here is a little way you could actually add some text and just, you know, try to sell them on it. Just, you know, in this free guide, you will learn how to or, or something along the lines of that. And um, here we need the place, we need to connect the form, but we haven't built the form yet. So we need to kind of make sure we do this. So we're just to, to temporarily put a placeholder there. I'm just going to call it um, lead magnet demo, lead magnet demo opt-in form. And we'll go and create that later on, okay? So we'll go do that soon. Just click apply on that. Excellent. So obviously it's an error because it's not actually created. And what you do here is obviously you change the image of the book to, to, to replicate your own book there as well. So, and you do the same here. So um, once we've kind of got the headline nailed in, once we're quite happy with how that is, the headline, down the side we want to obviously just talk about the benefits of it. So what they're going to learn in the book. And um, that's what you would do here. So you maybe have some type of a sub headline. So, you know, in this book, you are going to learn the 25 techniques that the best leading um, fitness professionals use to you know, help their clients, da, 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 or the best 25 techniques we, we use, or um, we're, I'm going to teach you the, the, the 30 day step by step um, guide to losing 30 pounds. And, and this is what we're going to cover. So, this is what you're going to get in this magazine. You're going to get workouts you can do at home. You're going to get nutrition um, advice, supplements to purchase. You're going to get meal plans, meal scheduling plans, things to eat, things to not eat. And um, you're going to get motivational such and such you know, every day. So, you're going to, get quite, going to get quite a lot. You can talk about all that in there. And down here again, we will just select the pencil icon. We can change this button. We can change the color here. As you can see, we've got back on color. We've got multiple different types of colors. I'm just going to change it to be like a red and I'm going to change this to a white. So the red background, white text. Red's always good. It kind of stands out and pops up the page. So it's always good there. And we obviously want to link this again to um, actually just a quick tip here. Right. Come back out here. Go back up to this one. Hover over that. Click on the pencil. Go back to link. And um, this here, if you, if you want to use the exact same type of design, come over to the right onto the sections and save it as a favorite. And then it just means that we can use this exact same design in you know, multiple places on this page, but not only on this page. If you want, if you like that design and want to keep using it across your entire website, you can do that as well. Just like I have here. So you can see we've got quite similar designs here. And it keeps everything everything exactly the same. So the same form is in there as well. And um, we'll click pencil, go to the link, click the pop and opt-in form. And there it is. Click and drag it onto the screen. So it nice and easy. And as you can see here, your buttons can do quite a lot. So we've got, you know, scroll to a particular section on the page, download the file, pop a video, um, link to the cart or calendar, membership logging areas, affiliate signups. So it does, it does a lot of things there. And, you know, once you're kind of happy with this page, that would pretty much be it, to be perfectly honest with you. That is a very simple lead magnet page. If you wanted to add additional testimonials in at the bottom, that's perfectly fine. Or if you want to add a little, a little area where you can actually talk about yourself as well. That's cool. All you need to do is come back over to the sections area and um, for, for a testimonials, as you can see, we've got testimonials right here. And we've got quite a few different types of testimonials we've got from video stuff. You've got, you know, you just see typical um, three column style testimonials. So I've got some cool things here. So we just kind of, maybe it's down at the bottom here, I choose to drop, drop and drag this one on. And then you know, once maybe you get a couple of people to go through this and 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 then go over it, you can just actually just edit this, copy and paste their testimonial there, and um, change that to the the image of the person who you get the testimonial from if you want to, and just change the name. If you don't want to add the image, you can just delete it just by clicking the cross button there, and it will just delete that. But just bear in mind and um, that this is only two columns in some. Oh no, sorry, it's four columns. So we've got. I can see one, one, two, three three four so we've got four columns here and if i click on this um so i click on this i can see it so that, that there is just it hasn't deleted the column it's just deleted the component in the column so it's now seeing that it's an empty column so be careful when doing that but there is an undo button at the top right where you can undo it as well and um, to edit the image just click hover over the image you can duplicate you can change the size of the image 
um, but what we want to click on the pencil icon here and we've got style which is your is the image center to the left to the right or center and um, it doesn't have a border if you want to have a border in this case it doesn't but we want to obviously potentially change the image so we've got image selection you can come in here and you know you can just upload your own image and you, know, you can upload all the type of images here and it'll be there where you want it so for example if we were just going to use something like this and um, click confirm click apply so you know something along the lines of this i see this image doesn't work very well because it's better to have a a more like a, a vertical image rather than like a short but, but more horizontal one like this so in this case i would just undo and undo again just so i've got the actual ebook cover there as well um, and that, that's pretty much it to be honest with you as i mentioned if you did want to add a little bit about yourself i would come back to the sections tab come down to and um, we've got hero sections we can have a look in here and see what there is for hero section and um, you know, something like that might actually look quite good um, and we've got these examples here we can just kind of change change your face but i actually prefer the content section for this one so go to come to the contents area as you can see we've got loads and loads and loads of template stuff we can just click and drag on so you know some people think this is quite difficult to do it is to a certain degree later on down the line but for the basics it's very simple that anyone can do this okay let's just go down I'm just trying to look for the the best type of one which i think will work well with what we're trying to do here so we're looking to create a little about about us section this thing might could be quite good there um and actually just for simplicity's sake we're just going to select it so i'm going to um select this on here drag it on and you know this is where you would you know just change the image again just change the headshot image just click edit going in there and you and we'll just say um about um about john smith <laughs> and then we're going to have a little bit um in here you know talking about what who john smith is you know the story about john smith why john smith is an expert in this area and while i'm in this being learned more it could be you know um download the free guide today so if you're a personal trainer obviously it might be like you know tell us about a personal trainer story or in general actually if you're any type of expert it's always good to tell your story just a little bit just touch on a little bit why people should kind of buy into you why you should believe into you um that you're an expert at helping them download um today change that there again the image the the, the, the coloring itself as well as i've mentioned previously it um, doesn't quite fit a bit too blue <laughs> but we can change it we just come to here highlight it come to the color section you, know, you might want to change this to a softer blue that doesn't work it's too much of a light background and we can just change it to a black or we can select you know maybe it's a bit of a, a darker gray and if we wanted to and let's say in this area here we could actually change the background on this come to background let's just say we're going to select the same style background that we used further up apply but I want to actually make this a little bit less in your face. I want to take the opacity down um, again. And because the 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 um the background color is set to white, as you can see, it, it, it kind of brightens the background up rather than darkens it down. So if we change this to black, see it's gone really back, and that just doesn't work. So we keep it to white, or you can change it to any color, in fact, that just whatever works best for your type of branding. So this this could be a typical um, lead magnet page or to be honest with you you probably have enough with just the very top here so just uh, some type of impactful headline and um, a little bit of information about the thing that they're going to get and you potentially don't even need the testimonials or the bit at the bottom i would say you would add these things in if you um were kind of i don't know maybe selling a low value offering or if it was a bit more of an ask but in this case we're only really asking for their their you know name and email address probably and that's it so if we just kind of come back to this download download today button click the pencil icon link um, and we're going to, what all we're going to do here is just the add the, the pop this opt-in thing here again and that's it really simple okay so that's that done okay once you're happy with it and what i would recommend you do on a regular basis this is come up here and click save progress so come to the actions tab click save progress because if you don't you're potentially going to risk losing everything on there um, and once you're happy with it do click publish live as well and
And obviously up here, you might have seen that we have desktop view, we have tablet view. This is how it's going to look on tablets. This is how it's going to look on mobile phones. Um, so you know, it's got the headline, we've got the image of this and um, so on and so on so just make sure you're happy with how it looks if you're not happy a little bit of an advanced tactic you can do is you can actually clone a section and then come in so then you'll have two sections um, and then come into the pencil icon the edit icon for the section and use this hide button up here and this hide button actually allows you to hide certain things on either desktop tablet mobile and you're based on you know certain things of the of the client if you want to so if you only wanted to display a certain section the people who had a certain tag or were subscribed to a certain sequence you can actually do that and that's called behavioral adaptive marketing right there but in this instance what we're talking about is just if we're not happy with how something looks on mobile and um, we can actually use this feature to you know um let's say we let's say we had the two sections here we had this one then we cloned it underneath we could have this top section which was set up for desktop and tablet but then in the one underneath we could potentially you know make the image of the um of the book slightly smaller so it looks smaller on mobile because it wouldn't be seen on tablet or desktop it would only be seen on mobile and you do that by doing that so as you can see that's only now shown on mobile if we had these two selected it wouldn't be shown on mobile so you can just go in you can edit you might want to change the size of the button and actually i'm just going to do a quick example here so um for the purposes of this i'm going to come and i'm going to come down to this section i'm going to make this slightly smaller i'm going to actually make this button rather than being full width i'm actually going to make it just large and you'll see what i mean in a second so we now come to the mobile view I can see we've got two. We've got two of the exact same sections. We've got this section up here with a huge image and quite a lot, and the text is fine. But in this section, we've actually made the text um, text the same, just the image smaller. And if I click on this here, we can center this. So depending on how much writing you have in the buttons, it might actually look, might actually go down onto like, it, it, it'll actually go down into, let's say, two rows rather than just the one like it is here. Um, so what we could do here is we could click on the cog icon, click on the edit, hide, hide that on mobile, and um, come to here, click on the edit, hide this one on desktop and tablet. Okay, and then if we go to desktop and we click on the side, like, so we can see this is section two. So this is the one that, this is the, the section that's gonna be shown on desktop and tablet. And this is now jumped to section four because Section three is only is only displayed on mobile. Um, the only issue with this is that when it comes to editing this page in the future, you just have to remember that you actually have this section specifically just set for mobile. And um, so if you made any changes to this section, it wouldn't automatically update into the mobile section because it's a brand new type of section. Just to keep things really simple, I'm just going to delete that. And I'm just going to, back, going to come back up into here and I'm just going to edit this just to show on, on mobile. And that's just in case you guys want to actually use this phone, then, then you've got it, you can use it exactly um, as it is, and as you like it. So I'm just going to click, obviously, publish live on that to make sure that we're happy with it. Now what we need to do is now we, we now need to go and create the thank you page. Um, some people underestimate the power of the thank you page. Um, because, you know, thank you page, some people think, well, okay, well, that's all it actually is, just let's just say thank you. But actually, it's it's the... That's quite an important step for either pre-framing them or selling them on additional services, whatever it is that you're kind of looking to promote throughout. But again, Kartra has pre-built thank you pages here. You can either use a video or you can use you know, something like this where it's just saying thank you for registering. Click here to download. I wouldn't ever recommend that you kind of use this feature where it's just saying click here to download. We want them, we want an opportunity to build a relationship with people. So what I always recommend you do is you add the downloadable link in your email, which I'll show you how to do it in a moment. And from there, you're going to send them people out more regular emails on a regular basis to actually um, start building the relationship. But the relationship starts building on the thank you page and in the first email where you're actually going to send them the link to get their their lead magnet or to get or to get access to the page or the video that they're looking to do. Um, in this instance, one thing I quite like as a thank you page is just the simple option that we've got at the top here. So we click select on that one, launch builder. I'm just going to call it um, lead, mag lead magnet thank you page. Create. 
And as you can see here, our thank you page is kind of finished. Um, I quite like the style of thank you page. It's got the option to put your logo at the top. It's got it's already got a thank you for registering. The download link has been sent to your email address. I like that as well. And I like the fact that it's given them steps one, two, and three. So you know, first thing to do, go to email, email, check this out. Step second thing, open up the email. Third thing, click the download link. It's like it's it's almost idiot proof. <laughs> the more we're gonna make things idiot proof, the better. Um, and again, it's really nice and simple to follow, isn't it? Don't forget to follow us on social media. Stay up to date with this. Your social media links there. You can add that. You can, if you want to add people to come and join your community, if you've got a Facebook community, you can change that to have you know, come join us on our Facebook community. If at this stage you're looking to sell a product of some sort, or you want to upsell them on a call, and um, you know it could be you know step one, check your email inbox, and um, you know. It, it's this subject line so you could just move that over to there step two click to download the, the the thing and step three um you know click the button below to book in your free breakthrough call strategy call your free whatever call it is with me to um to learn how to overcome these problems or to discuss how we can work closely together to help you get faster results in losing weight things like that so you could actually change this page into more of a, a call to action page and a step two if you wanted to or if you were looking to sell a product let's say you had some of low value so maybe it's, it's a some type of challenge you know maybe it's, it's a 30 day um support group challenge for 30 pounds you might want to actually change this page to be more of a, a, a page where you're actually trying to sell a challenge instead and what i would do in that instance is i would just keep this top bit Thank you for registering but i would actually change all the stuff at the bottom here and the copy for this bit at the bottom would actually be all around you know come come join the challenge with with the link to come and join the challenge or send to the challenge with a new sign up form but again i'm um, going a bit off track and probably a bit over complex for this video so i want to just keep things on point this, the whole point of this video is just as a lead generation funnel so we're looking to just build some leads and start getting some data and you know, capturing people's information in our list so we can build relationships with, the, with them down the line and also so we can actually position yourself as experts in the eyes of your audience so you can leave this as, as as you like it if you want to and um, one thing i would recommend you do is we just kind of keep the theme though so obviously we've got this this pinky color background here and um, i don't know if how this look if we change it to be a bit more of a bluey background so we've lost a bit of the the texture of the of the original image that was that was behind there so i'm just going to change this to be this one apply I'm just going to change this again and I'm going to actually make it black background. I want to change this to 90%. So something like that, because that's exactly what was on the, the landing page that they kind of came in on. Um, again, you could actually have a video here, to be honest with you as well. This this could be a video of you thank the name. And in that video, you could actually try and sell them on something else if you wanted to as well. In that, in that type of a page, it's so simple to do. Because, I mean, it's just a video with a button underneath the video. And that, that would literally be it. And then that button would be linked to a product um, or a, a form to fill in. And you've got so many examples here. It could just be a case of one of these here. It could be this style or this style of video. It works really well. Um, so really simple to do. You know, you, to be honest with you, your options are endless when it comes to doing these type of things. Um, but yeah, so technically speaking, that could be it. You, you're pretty much done now. So let's just click publish live on that as well. One thing just to quickly mention, actually, which might help you. So over up here on top left under the settings area, you've got SEO parameters and your page tile is the thing that actually shows up in the tab menu. OK, so make sure you, you just change that to be relevant to what it is actually doing. And also, if you do have, let's say, Facebook ads and things like that, you just want to embed your Facebook ads tracking code down here. It's really simple to do. Just copy and paste it, click apply and that's it done. Really, really simple. But that's the thank you page done. Last thing we need to do is just go and create the, we'll finish creating the form. And we do that by coming over to the form section on the left. Come down to the lead magnet demo opt-in form. Click on edit. And um, again, change the name if you're not happy with it. Click on edit again. First thing that's going to come up here is what information do we want to collect from the people who actually signed up to this. Um, the default is first name and email address. If you want to add additional fields, you can do. You can click new fields here. 
you can actually come in and your field identifier we can add last name we can add phone number company address country website if you want to add custom fields and create your own type of questions you can even do that you can give them a drop down radio radio button option check boxes or areas to fill in text but again I highly recommend when it comes to capturing the details of a cold audience keep it simple that's also why on the page itself the the lead magnet page i didn't actually have the contact form on the page i made it come up into a pop-up box because i want it to i want people to almost like ha i want to get let's say a, a, a small commitment of them clicking the button before they actually have to fill in any details it's called like the micro commitment theory so getting people to make small commitments so that rather than just saying okay give us your name and name and email address as the first ask the first ask is actually click this button it's so easy to do that then the next ask which is first name and email address again becomes a bit more okay well i've clicked the button so i'm gonna now i'm gonna now fill in the form it's a bit more you'll get less drop off weight you'll get you'll get better conversions with that strategy it's been proven over time to get better conversions and um, again click save once you're happy with the details in here and um, keep it simple keep first name and email address you don't want to ask for too much because it's called called audience and there's, there's not really any reason as of yet to, to capture more details you haven't built a relationship up and you haven't yet verified that this lead is actually somebody that is going to potentially buy from you the single opt-in and double opt-in what this means single opt-in means that once people have opted in and um, once they filled in their name and email address that's it they are in your database however the double opt-in actually gets people to go to their email inbox to confirm that the email address is legitimate again it's asking more of people however it will actually give you better um better data in your crm system so you'll get you know email addresses which are actually legit and um, because some people will just kind of put in some random email address thinking that you're going to give them the free thing on the next page happens very rarely though to be honest with you and um, and in the case of how we're setting this up this um this thing that we're doing here is they they can't actually get this thing unless they give us our legitimate email address okay so the fact and thank you page has said it's been sent to your email address if they haven't entered their email address in which is correct they're going to be missing out on this and they're going to have to go back and fill it in again so we're going to click save here just to keep on that the success page is the thank you page we've just created so we're just going to come into here and um, go to the correct area and it is the live lead magnet thank you page click save and next okay so the welcome email system here is this is where we're going to um send people an email when they actually fill in this form and within this email we're going to send them the link to download their ebook as well so there's two ways you can do this either number one you can you can send them this email right here and now in this area or if you're looking to develop some type of a an email marketing sequence which automatically follows up with people after they've registered you can actually skip this step and you can actually just add this step into the email marketing sequence which once this page loads i'll show you exactly what it is and we we get to there by going to my communications communications in the center here click on sequences and and i mean i've got tons of sequences um but as you can see you can actually create your own sequence here as well and in quite a lot of things you can do so what i would pretty much do the options i would say is if you're not looking to develop in on in, in automate email sequence after this step just stick with this and just 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 send it a welcome message here okay um, but if you are planning on having that in two or three four email sequences i would definitely recommend having um, extra stuff so um just ignore this thing here this is just a, a an extension i have just to help with uh, spelling and grammar and things like that so i just ignore this this won't be shown in the email at all but what i want to do is we're wanting to kind of link this so we're going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to say um here is your your free um insert lead magnet name okay so that's exactly what we're going to do so you will insert your your lead magnet name whatever it is that you've called it there you know the 30 day challenge or the 30 pounds a 30 day um weight loss guide something like that and um, anything you can be and right now we're going to start typing out email we've got hi and we're going to enter their first name that will automatically pull the their first name out of the crm for what they've entered into the contact form before so it makes it personal you know hi hi john hi joe hi samantha whatever it's going to be and um, and we're going to say 
no thanks very much thank you um for requesting the free um guide lead magnet whatever it is you want to call it one thing i don't i i recommend that we do is not to give it to them at this point right now we kind of want this this is an opportunity for us to start building a relationship with these people so at this point we want to kind of actually touch on that and one good way to do that is maybe it's by telling them about how we got started and what you're doing so right now you can potentially say thanks thank you for requesting the free guide and um, i created this i created this guide and um, to help people to help people who were going through who are who are going going through exactly what I was going through you know five years ago you know dot 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 right what this is now doing this is actually an opportunity now to build a relationship this is now an opportunity to um you know, almost like sell the attractive character as it's known as now we have to get rid of this ginger thing it looks like it's in my way I don't know if I can just come up here um spelling yep get rid of that excellent so i created this guide to um help people who are going through exactly what i was going through five years ago no so then you might continue the story just by saying you know five years ago um or something like back then i was i was you know um i you yeah, got my keyboard's not working very well i was um you know 50 pounds overweight over weight um had no energy had no energy energy and um was about was about to lose my wife <laughs> make it really you know whatever your story is going to be was about to lose my wife because because um because i was taught i was miserable because Mis i was depressed depressed and um and you know not loving I don't want to go into this too much guys but you get the point okay tell your story start building up on it don't make it massive and don't make it really long just make people feel like they what you you were where they were that's the whole point of this okay uh, or talk about something like something like okay i created this guide because so many of my clients um are having an issue right here and I was getting phone calls all the time, so just kind of build that story. And what we want to do here is try to build an attractive character, and it's an attractive character that people are going to start resonating with and start falling in, in almost like in love with the character, and you are the character in this case. Because when you're watching any film or any type of TV series or soap soap opera type of series, the attractive character is the thing you kind of buy into, and this is the person that you know is normally the the main person in the movie. So you know, there's so many normally that it's only that person who's going through that journey, that struggle, that challenge. And this is the type of thing we want to build here. Once you've gone through that, okay, and you've kind of created that, at the end here you want to see it and there's uh, something like, oh, um, before I get, before I forget, here is your um here is click here. What we'll do here is once here. Click here to get your your free guide, something like that. Um um then we can hyperlink it okay we can hyperlink we can click link up there and as you see we can copy and paste the link in here wherever you've got our guide hosted if you if you want if you want to you can actually host the guide in kartra as well by coming to the membership section membership section on the left hand side here click on files up at the top and then you can upload your guides here so you can actually store it also in this case i've got this get url um, and here would be the URL, okay, and we can actually track, we can actually assign tags to people to this, we can assign points, we can track whoever is actually downloading that and clicking on the link, which is really cool. Another benefit to actually having it all in Kartra. Um, so look forward to speaking to you, um, speaking um, with, with you soon. If you were obviously having multiple email follow-up sequences, I would actually have there just saying, you know, and then in tomorrow's email, I'm going to be telling you about such and such. Well, you know, just really priming them for tomorrow's. You got to, you got to imagine your email sequences is that at the end of every email sequence, the job is is to get them to open your next email. So just like any type of good TV show, all right, you know, if you're watching something on telly and it's a TV series, 
every time at the end of that TV episode, they leave you on some cliffhanger, they leave you without a piece of information that you just want to know, you know, did that person die, did that person marry that person, you know, what happened, and you know, leaving you on that cliffhanger. That's exactly what we want to build into our email sequences as well. So we've got the text here. Okay, this now is us technically done. We've kind of created the email, we've got the landing pages. If you were wanting to create a fancier email, we can flick over to the top here to advanced, and you can actually start building out your emails using, let's say, like a HTML format. And I'll just give you a quick example here. So I've got, um, you know, for example, this email that I've built. I've got my branding on it, it's got my logo and such and such. I've got little PSs in here as well, such as joining the the community and also booking in a free call and um, if they want to do that and I could actually just copy and paste that text from the other page right into here and I've now got let's say more of a, a branded email rather than just the basic email which is like this however please note that this email feels a lot more personal than getting this email I'm sure you'll agree with that and um, I've run multiple tests um, you know, regarding this and if I can send an email like this out to my entire database and get a ridiculous response because they think it's personal, they think I've literally just sent it to them, and um, it is obviously a secret that they trade this, but but you will get better responses by doing this because it does feel more personal. And this just feels like it's been sent from a company, whereas this feels like it's been sent from a human. Been sent. If you were to type a message to your mate, to your friend, or if you were sending them an email, this is what it would look like. It wouldn't look like this, would it? So that's what you've got to think of. If I'm setting up, like, say, maybe, it's, um, maybe it's I've introduced myself as this, so they kind of now, okay, yeah, I'll start opening email addresses from Mark. Down the line, I might actually start adding some branding in, and some things like that, just to keep just to keep the branding in theme, because now they're getting used used to opening my emails and things like that as well. Okay, so um, we're just going to click. I'm just going to actually get rid of this, just just to. And delete this, delete this, and delete this. I'm going to click back over the basics and we're going to keep it just as simple as it is. Up here we've got the where it's going to come from. So I'm just going to change this to John Smith. I'm going to change this to um, your at email.com because if you want to use this, I don't want you sending it from my email address. And um, you'll, you'll enter your own email address in there. Automations. So we're going to now assign tags. Um, you, what you want to do here is you want to create a new tag, and um, in this case, you'll be creating it as let's say a lead magnet. You'll you, you, you'll assign the you'll create a tag and call it whatever the lead magnet is called. So in this case, I've actually already got a bunch of tags under my um, where are you? Where are you? Um, but, but, so these are like categories. I'm looking for the free. There it is. I'm blind. Free resources category, and then I see I've got multiple different types of tags in here. Okay, so I'm just going to add another one though. I'm just going to create a new tag, and I'm just going to call it um, "Lead Magnet Demo Tag," and then you'll you'll add the description of the tag in there. And I'm just going to add this into my free resources. So if you guys want to use this funnel as it is, you can actually just use that. Okay, and it'll automatically be in there as well for you. The tag. We want to add these to a list. In this case, you would create a new list just as you did, just it's pretty much the same thing what we just done before. And enter the list. But in this case, I've already got a list created, which is called my free resources downloads. I'm going to add them to that. If you had your email sequence set up again, you could actually um add them to a sequence in your emails. So for my example, you know, I could potentially add people to lead magnet follow-up sequences there. Um, you know, I've got multiple multiple sequences. I've got my soap opera sequence, which I could do. And um, obviously my soap opera sequence tells people through my story, gets them indoctrinated into my type of, um, my, my life, my world, and, and lets people know what I'm up to, or, or how I've kind of get into where I am today. So that's as simple as it goes. Make sure you click save up there, and I'm just gonna click save and next here. Form design, yes, okay. If you're embedding your form onto a third party website, like you might have you know, a WordPress website or something, you'll just maybe use this option down at the bottom and you'll get the code here as well. But we're just doing it on Kartra, keeps things really simple. And um, that's all we're gonna do. And we're finished. So that's the form done. That is literally the, the lead magnet finished now. Okay, and um, pretty simple, right? I know it's I know it's technically took us what I know I've been recording for 50 minutes now. God, it seems quite long. Um, but at the same time. This realistically, I could have probably done this in ten minutes. 
if I wasn't on the, um, if I wasn't recording this, and if if I had kind of everything pre prepared. So if I already designed my lead magnet, I knew what it was about, I knew what pin it was solving, and um, all I needed to do was now create a page to get people to sign up and a thank you page to thank them for signing up and tell them what to do next. Simple as that, isn't it? It is literally job done. And one thing I would recommend though is please remember in your thank you page, you know, you've got um find the email we just sent to you, it has subject line. So you would just want to edit that to, to replicate the subject line that was in the um, email before, which I think it was something along the lines of um here's your free, and that, that's where you add in your lead magnet name. Okay, so you know, free ebook on such and such. Or here's your link to get access to the free video. It might be a bit long of a subject title, but still, you, you kind of get the point. Um, and the demo page. So that's it done. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you is I'm actually going to give you this funnel completely free. And um, obviously, it, it, it's got a lot of work that still needs to be done for it as well. And um, but you've got the option to kind of use this one. Or, um, you know, if you want to. If you want to kind of get set up with Kartra and use the link that I'll supply you with to get signed up, obviously it is an affiliate link, so I will get a, a kickback for that, which you know I, I appreciate you doing that for me if that is what you want to do. I do have this other lead magnet funnel here as well, which is a bit more a bit more set up and a bit more advanced. And this one works quite well. You might have seen this used quite a lot in my own type of style, so what I do. So you can I'll also kind of give you access to this as well if you want to use this one. Um, it's all pretty much set up exactly the same as before. The the pages are all, all set up. It's like I say, it's pretty much it's very similar to what it was before, but it's just a bit more built out. It's got a bit more description in there as well. Um, it comes with quite a lot of other type of components, and I'll just give you a brief idea of that. So, if you need any help whatsoever setting this up, as you can see here, it is just in here. I'll just kind of view the assets. So it comes with the pages, the list, the forms, the help desk. So yeah, it comes with everything that everything that the other one came with. Everything that the original, the one I've just kind of built comes with as well. Just a different variable, just a different variant on that as well. So I'll give you kind of both of those lead magnet forms if you want to. It's really simple to do it. But if you do need any other help kind of designing this or designing you know the, the next steps, what to do after this, you know, how to kind of build out your funnel, what you should be what type of things you should be designing when it comes to your lead magnet, what you should be talking about. You know, feel free just to obviously um, leave some comments below this video if you want to, or reach out to me at my email address, which is mark at official and I'll be um, sure to get back to you to help you out as best as I possibly can. But yeah, so I'll leave the I'll leave the two codes and links, all the links that you need to kind of get started with this funnel, get started with Carter on the 14 day trial um, in the description of this video as well, so you can get access to all that immediately. But thanks for watching, I know it's been 50 minutes, um, but yeah, it's quite a long time, so I appreciate you hanging in there, but I hope this helps you out, I hope it helps you get started, and helps you, you know, understand that this tech stuff, people get people get fearful, oh my god, it's going, how, how do I create that, it's so technical, it's so difficult, it really isn't, is it? I've just kind of shown you there, it is so simple to click and drag, and also when you get started with Kartra, I mean, it's got a full training thing, full um, your know, Kartraverse training portal up here at the top, and also, I have my own type of Kartra training area where I'll give you access to as well, and um, I'll just give you, give you a quick glimpse of that so you can actually get access to that and, and have a look it's actually within this free elite full and builders academy here i'll click on this we'll go to admin and um, i've got quite big plans for this as well building it out in multiple trainings in here so you can see i've got carter training and we've got loads of carter training here we've got the welcome all about the the carter walk around uploading your list into carter installing your facebook pixels your website pages so about building different types of pages in there and um, setting up email autom automations and um, creating your own membership site. So I give you access to all this as well. So all you really need to do is just send to Kartra via my affiliate link and you'll get the two free lead magnet um, funnels and I'll also give you access to kind of all this too, okay? So anything else you need help with, just feel free to reach out to me and we'll speak again soon.